Blessing, saints. Queen warrior back again with the Gospel of John. I asked Father, where shall I start? I heard chapter 3. I just knew it was the chapter on Born Again. Let me begin by placing the cloak of invisibility with the key of David over our minds, bodies, hearts, and spirit, sealing us all with the precious blood of the Lamb. Father, with the key of David and the sound of my voice, I come back with the arsenal of weapons at my disposal to tear down and bind all witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, evil malice, conflict, sickness, disease, temptation to sin, false prophecy, heresy, and all evil works of the deceiver. And I loose the divine light and the perfect love to all the hearts made in the image of our Father through the dead burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Gospel of John, chapter 3, We'll start in verse 3 to 6. King James Version. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus, Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. What is born again? Born again literally means born from above. You must be completely born again by the wind of the Holy Spirit and raised up from the dead in their in the inner person, the kingdom within. You need the Holy Spirit to give you a spiritual birth. This is the moment of transformation or regeneration, a literal landscape transformation in your mind, a dramatic change in your atoms, these atoms in your temples will start to regenerate and the behavior will be a unit in unity. No longer quote unquote zombies. You will be controlled by the uh, culmination of toxicity attacks to our celestial bodies. We are made in the image of a celestial body. You go from being spiritually dead to spiritually alive through Christ. Once you had once you had no thoughts if your actions were sinful or grieved after doing evil, you now feel the conviction of the Holy Spirit in a renewed heart and mind. Without this uh, radical transformation lived out until death, no one can enter the eternal kingdom of God. Your body has to be transforming like out of a cocoon into a butterfly, spiritually free. You have to submit to the original creation, the wind hovering over the water, the invisible moving the visible, a baptism in a new life. It's not possible to enter God's kingdom. You have to understand the hidden truth, the hidden manna, the kingdom within. We are spiritual beings covered in the flesh. In 2 Corinthians 5.17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. We are created in the image of God as three parts being the spirit, the soul, and the body. In 1 Thessalonians 5.23, Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely and may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Now we have to remember that the flesh and the blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Our physical bodies have not been born again, changed or renewed. These dying bodies cannot inherit what will last forever. For our dying bodies must be transformed into bodies that will never die. Our mortal bodies must be transformed into immortal bodies. As it reads in 1 Corinthians 15, 50 to 57. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised incorruptible. And we shall be changed, for this corruption must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible has put on incorruption, and this mortal mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death! Where is your sting? O Hades, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of the sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. As it reads in Romans 6, 4 to 14. I'm not going to read it all, but therefore we were buried with him through baptism into death so that just as Christ was raised up out from death by the glory of the Father, so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have become united in the likeness of his death, certainly also we will be of the resurrection, knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him so that the body of sin might be annulled, that we are no longer slaves to sin. Now, our soul is made up of our mind, our will, and our emotions, which did not become saved, changed, or born again. That means every thought or every desire or every feeling or emotion you have must be changed by the word, by the love of Christ in you. The renewing of your mind and heart and soul, you have to be renewed. As it reads in 1 John 3, 9, Whosoever has been born of God does not sin, for his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin because he has been born of God. We are spiritual beings. The kingdom of God is within you. You have to know yourself. You have to understand that the outside is the shell, is the covering. You have to know that you are spirit made in the image of our Father. Some people have asked me, what is water baptism? Water baptism is the symbol of a person union with Christ in the likeness of his death and resurrection. It signifies that a formal way of life has been put to death. And despite the freedom from the bondage of sin, depicts freedom from the bondage of sin, excuse me. So it's like this, the body serves the soul, the soul serves the spirit, and the ser spirit serves God. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You need to be born again in order to enter the kingdom of God. Born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which lives and abides forever. 1 Peter 1.23 And like always, please go to the Father to receive your confirmation on anything that, that anyone tells you. J just go to the Father and say, Father, is this correct? Thank you, my brothers and sisters. I give 
all the glory and honor and praise to the Most High God, Father Ahia, His Son, Yeshaya HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and the Holy Spirit, Aruah HaKadosh.